We're the first market intelligence platform that shows entrepreneurs exactly how much profit can be made within specific niches, products, and keywords. And we do this across all physical products for Amazon sellers and drop shippers, and all digital products for Etsy, digital product sellers, gum road sellers. We're the first ones to actually show the estimated max profit and target profit that they can make instead of just the revenue. And we're the first to actually have both of these industries data under one roof, which is really cool. So right when you log in you, you, into your into the app, right on the dashboard, you're going to see top five uh, for physical and digital products. And so you, we'll go over to physical here where you can see them sorted by niches products or keywords which is pretty cool you can select right there you can see historical data for the products looks like this one is freshy you can see historical data you can see similar products to them uh, you can actually click on the products themselves see them on amazon which is really important you can see their total available market right here lots of really important information right here on the dashboard for the top five obviously this is kind of just like a little preview to get accustomed to looking at data because not everyone's super used to it and so if we want to get more robust into our filters, it's going to be the opportunity finder, which we're going to look at in just a moment. Here we have a quick look, quick start to 10K checklist, just a couple of really awesome links that you can use to uh, our accounts that are useful, like a TikTok ad account, get a really good refund on it. Here we have some more learning information, and here we have links to our data products. Let's fly over here to the opportunity finder, where we can again sort by physical or digital products. We're going to start by physical products just for this exercise. I can include keywords or I can exclude keywords here. Uh, right here we have the categories and segments of all of our Amazon and physical product data, also applicable to dropshippers as well. And as you can see here, home and kitchen has $5.4 billion in monthly revenue. We're estimating 1.4 billion of that is serviceable addressable market, which means that's the portion of the total revenue that's potentially up for the grabs. This is the estimated max monthly profit margin here, and this is the max estimated profit itself. We can actually just multiply SAM by the estimated margin to get the max estimated profit. Pretty interesting. Nobody else shows this kind of data besides us. And we have it right here in our categories. So you're able to make an assessment when you're choosing what category or segment you're searching within. For this exercise, I'm gonna click all of them and I can set a target monthly profit. Let's say I wanna make 5,000 bucks a month minimum. That's my target monthly profit for this search right now. Average month, max monthly profit. This is so I don't limit myself for future growth. I'm gonna put 25,000 profit, baby. I'm trying to cash out, let's go. I'm gonna increase my opportunity score range filter to three. I'm going to make sure all of my search queries are profitable, of course, or obviously wouldn't have any target monthly profit. So honestly, no need to even do that. We'll do it anyways. I'm not setting an average order value or cost per acquisition. That's kind of more for the nerds, which I am, but for this search, we'll keep it nice and basic. We're gonna leave our market aggression level five because you know I'm just gonna say I'm a run of the mill experienced level. If I was really doing the search myself, I would increase it to maybe seven or eight because I'm experienced in e-com and, and I'm ambitious. But you know, for this for the search, we're gonna keep it at five and press search. As soon as we see this data load, we're gonna have it sorted by opportunities, which are niches, products, and keywords. So right here we have the top opportunities or niches for my filtered input. Top one is actually cell phone accessories category, cases, holsters and sleeves, cell phone, basic cases. That's top. Looks like the score is almost eight, 34% profit margin, 8.3 million target profit. There's a huge target profit there. Max profit is 16 million. Serviceable addressable market is 50 million. The total revenue is 200 million. Average cost per click is $1.20. Conversion rate on average is 8%. Average order value can be upwards of $400. Cost per acquisition can be $264. And profit per order can be $137. Interesting. Let's open it up, take a quick peek. We can see historical data over time. We can see top products. Okay, it's an actual iPhone itself. A lot of un uh, unlocked. I was gonna say that average order value is a little high. So these are actually four actual iPhones themselves. People resell these all the time. It's an insanely large market. We can see top shops, you know, very interesting. We can click on the products themselves as well and the, and the shops, of course, so we can actually get exact, you know, information regarding what it is. 
really interesting. This they're they're slanging iPhones, and it's not Apple. <laughs> Pretty interesting to consider here. We can sort by products if we want to just see individual products which are pumping instead of niches or opportunities. And of course, we can sort by keywords as well, which are pretty similar to niches, but they're just individual keywords, which can be helpful for sure. Again, we have all of this really detailed information, cost per click, conversion rate, average order value, cost per acquisition, profit per order. And you can see it really, it really does all match up HP papers. Huge, people buy tons of paper. Oh, that's a crate of paper. <laughs> I was like, that's a high average order value for paper, 2.7 thousand. But people are buying crates of paper and it looks like they're making quite a bit of money. How interesting. You can track everything. So you find something you really love, you add it to your tracker. So you can save it for later. Understand what, you know, help sort all the different products that you're finding and niches that you're finding to see what you want to explore down the road and eventually add it to a project itself. We're going to fly into the market overview where we can sort again by physical or digital products. I can select all categories. I can quickly see categories over time. I can chart, right not over time, just in a table comparative to each other. I can chart lots of different metrics and quickly be able to see home and kitchen is number one. You know, I can quickly also see top segments within woman here, you can see which exactly what segments in it, it is in as well. And then you can go a step further and start charting niches within the specific segments. I really love the market overview. I think it's a great way of accessing the data in a very rapid, quick way. Again, sorted by opportunities, products, keywords. Let's go guys, good luck. You can start a free trial on ViableView. It's risk-free. Good luck on finding your next best-selling product with the best market intelligence available. Ciao, ciao.